Body image is a difficult subject to talk about. You don't want to be cliche or rude or too sensitive. Within the past decade, there has been a surge of acceptance for people who look vastly different from the typical skinny girl archetype of the early 2000s. But that doesn't detract from the societal expectations that still weigh down heavily on everyone. Growing up, I felt like a doll. Like I needed to look a certain way in order for people to be happy with me. I remember in fourth grade, I was told my thighs were too big. I was 10 years old, only about 65 pounds, when I learned that others will judge you based on how you look. It's easy to hide inside a jacket, and shorts just looked weird on me. Keeping tracks of calories has never been easier. There are apps to do it now. The old scale kept in my mother's bathroom is always off, so I just have to add 5 pounds if it doesn't match yesterday's weight. I stopped eating breakfast because I was too tired, and my mother's homemade lunch was distributed to the other kids in the cafeteria. Mom never made dinner. She was too busy working with three kids, so no one would notice if I just stayed in my room. These feelings affected my relationship with everything in my life. My friends, my family, and especially my relationship with the camera. There are so many moments of my life left undocumented because of my refusal to take a photo. One time my mother got so fed up with it that my next punishment was a week of photos without any arguing allowed. Obviously, this isn't something that one should be proud of. In fact, it's difficult to say that after going through this type of experience that one can ever really get over it. It's still easy to count calories, but as the years have gone by, it's impossible to deny that I haven't changed. The person I was back then was tired. I was shy and introverted. Tired and unhappy with the world? I used to think happiness was an elusive concept that people just made up. The idea that there weren't just small moments of excitement, but consistent joy in someone's life seemed absurd and abstract to me. But now I have so much more confidence in myself. I want to spread a message of love and self-acceptance. How surrounding oneself with supportive people can make your life better. So to those who ever felt like they were taking up too much space in the world, I'd like to remind you that the world is infinite, and that those around you appreciate you for who you are. Hi, this is Catherine. Welcome to Disney Channel. Hi, this is Catherine. Welcome to Disney Channel. Ha <laughs> ha!